What is up fellow nerds and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel. Now today we are going to be talking about a Pokemon that is uh, quite uh, interesting in my opinion. It is Perserker. Now I voiced my opinion on how I, how I felt about this thing's design in my Let's Play. Um, but yeah, I'm not a fan of his design. Um, his stats are eh, they're okay. Uh, base 70 HP, eh. Base 110 attack, that's pretty good. Base 100 defense, that's pretty good. Um, special attack, we're not going to use. Special defense at 60 is not good. And 50 speed, also not good. So his stats are kind of underwhelming. Um, now, where he does shine, at least a little bit, is this Tough Claws ability. Now, Tough Claws boosts all of your contact moves by 1.3 times, which actually makes a big difference. Um, 1.3 is is uh, pretty pretty crazy. Um, it's basically like it's basically Life Orb, but just with contact moves. And so, basically, we're using two Life Orbs here for the price of one, just because of his ability. So it's pretty cool. It's uh, it's quite a quite a decent power boost and so he hits pretty hard especially off of a base 110 attack stat um, he can really do some damage um, but yeah so um, we have a uh, swords dance life orb set here this is pretty standard um, we've got iron head close combat and crunch um, this basically hits everything in the metagame at least one of these moves um, hits everything for neutral so he's he does have really good coverage actually because um, he also gets things like Gunk Shot. Um, not that he really needs uh, a Poison type move, um, unless you're trying to deal with Grass types for some reason. Um, you get uh, Night Slash is a uh, another high crit chance move. You can have Play Rough as a, uh, a Fairy Stab. Um, now Seed Bomb I think is interesting, and I think Seed Bomb might actually be usable. Um, and the reason is because of just right now being the UU tier what it is. Um, Gastrodon is kind of an issue, um, but this would uh, this would deal with Gastrodon absolutely no problem, and it would be very unexpected. So Seed Bomb actually is not a bad move at all, especially given the metagame. Um, I'm pretty sure it would just Oko a uh, a non Rindo Berry uh, Gastrodon. Um, but yeah, so that's this set. This set's pretty straightforward, um, and so is the next next set. It is a Choice Band set. Um, basically all the same moves except we put U-Turn on it instead of uh, Sword Stance. So uh, U-Turn, this thing getting U-Turn is pretty crazy. Um, it's it's a great move. It's it's awesome for him. Um, you bring this in on uh, on something that that doesn't like steel um, or even even fighting if you've revealed that already, and you can just U-Turn out. Um, and then bring in an appropriate switch in. So this uh, giving him the ability to pivot like this is actually really, really nice, especially on a Mon um, that normally wouldn't be able to uh, help you gain momentum like this. It's actually very, very nice. Um, so now we're going to uh, a bulky set. I do think that this Mon could work as a bulky Mon. Um, it being base 100 defense, and uh, 110 attack, um, you can go ahead and boost that with a cursed, curse and rest talk set. Um, so this is again a very standard uh, set in the metagame. Um, we had a set very similar to this in our last video about Stone Journer. Um, but yeah, this set will actually work pretty well. And we've actually changed our ability to Steely Spirit. Now I have done some research, and uh, this does actually work on Perserker. And it boosts your steel type moves by 1.5, um, and so their base power is actually multiplied by 1.5. So Iron Head is hitting incredibly hard, um, especially with this. And so since we're only using a steel type move, it's better to run Steely Spirit than it is to run Tough Claws on this set specifically. Um, but yeah, so this is just going to be boosting up our attack and our defense at the same time. Um, and so we've went ahead and maxed out our special defense just to give us a lot more bulk on that side since we're not boosting that and uh, our defense and attack will be all right as it gets boosted um, by curse. Um, yeah, so I really like this set actually. Um, I think it could I think it could work in the right situation once you've uh, once you've taken out his big threats. Um, I think this set would actually do really, really nicely. 
Uh, so this fourth set we're gonna look at is a room service set. Now, I really love the item room service. Um, I feel like I love it a lot more than what I should, but it is a really great item. And so room service actually lowers your speed when you uh, come in on Trick Room. Um, and so this thing being only base 50 speed, he's in a pretty good position to uh, to run this. Um, he's decently slow, but he could be he could be slower. And so um, that room service will uh, will actually really help him out. And then we're just going to run the uh, the standard sword stance set um, because if you're if you get a sword stance up under Trick Room and you have the room service going, um, you're gonna you're gonna put in some work. It's gonna be really cool. So this last set, our meme set. Um, so this this thing's move pool is actually like really good, and he doesn't get a lot of really like meme sets. Um, at first, I thought of running like a uh, nasty plot um, steel beam, but then I was like, no, that's actually just completely stupid. Um, but so what I've come up with is a fake out fling thief and iron headset. Um, and so what this set is is uh, we're gonna hold a toxic orb. So you fake out your opponent just for the chip on the uh, the first turn. It goes ahead and breaks any sashes, anything like that. Then you can either go for Iron Head, which is the boring play, or you can throw your Toxic Orb at your opponent. So you're not going to get poisoned because you're a Steel type, and you can throw your uh, Toxic Orb at your opponent, which will poison them, which actually is the only way for him to poison opponents because he doesn't actually get Toxic. Um, and then, once you've done that, you can then steal whatever item they're holding because you've thrown yours. Then you can throw it back at them. So it's just a complete meme set. Um, it's just, uh, you know, fake out just for, to break sashes if that's a thing, um, in which case you would just go for Iron Head. Um, but then you would, uh, could, you would proceed to take their stuff and then throw it back at them and, uh, and it'd be great. Um, so yeah, that is going to be our video on Perserker. Um, again, I don't like his design. His stats are eh. Um, I see him landing around around like NU or so. Um, I really don't see him going any crazier than that. Um, I, I can see him being decent just because that 110 base power, uh, that 110 attack plus Tough Claws or Steely Spirit actually does hit like a truck. Um, so, you know, he is, he is a bit of a threat as far as like his power goes. And if you let him get set up, um, he will absolutely wreck your life but it's very situational and it's very difficult to set up so um, for that reason I'm gonna say he's probably going to be around NU um, which is unfortunate but you know something's got to be down there and it, uh, it might as well be uh, something with this design anyway uh, that is gonna be it for today um, I will see you guys tomorrow for another guide and um, again I am very very close to uh, to starting a, uh, a Wi-Fi battle series um, and we will also have a uh, showdown live or two coming, uh, coming up later. So until then, uh, have a good day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.